an interesting week to get a read on some contenders. Well, a, a chance maybe in your division to pull away a mm -hmm. little bit. And if you haven't won a game, a chance for you to get back in a race. Well, in the AFC North, since he won the division, oh, by the way, Pittsburgh won the Super Bowl <laughs> last year. So here comes Cincy into Pittsburgh. Cincy feeling, boy, if Carson Palmer was healthy last year, we could have beat you in the playoffs. Pittsburgh saying, we don't, we don't think so yet. Let's settle it at the big ketchup bottle at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And who did some yakking early? Joey Porter, <laughs> Chad Johnson. Chad actually really? having fun with the fans. And then, oh, no, here we are. And then, oh, they find each other. Now, wait a minute. No, you're on this side of the pit. No, I'm on that side of it. No, you're on this. We'll see after the, and we will see after the game. First drive, Pittsburgh impressive. Right down the field, Willie Parker pens a three-yard touchdown. 7-0, Steelers. Carson Palmer struggling early. You knew he'd have big time pressure Pittsburgh. Clark Hagens, the linebacker, sacks him. It's a fumble. But what a good play call by Marvin Lewis. Kenny Watson picks it up and runs for first down. But then here comes Larry Foote. He's an athlete, that foot. He forces a fumble, <laughs> and but the Bengals recovered again, so dodging some proverbial bullets. Then Palmer throws goes back. This time. Deshae Townsend reads it perfectly. That may be the worst three plays that Carson Palmer will ever have in his football life. Big changing point. It's going to be 14-0 Pittsburgh. No. Madhu Williams picks off the pass by Roethlisberger. Mr. Madhu. You've done it again. And Ben thrown off back foot there. Yeah, Ben getting that pressure. Just not looking himself yet. Now wrestled out of bounds by Ike Taylor is Chris Henry. And this would be a theme. Pittsburgh trying to play tough. Cincinnati not backing down. Same drive. Now remember, it began at their own three. Palmer lofts to Henry. What the grab he makes over Taylor. It's a sizable receiver. Tied at seven, 97 yard drive. Yeah, Chris Henry, six foot five. Now this just seconds before the end of the half. And the great teams find a way to do it when it really hurts you. That's Henry with a touchdown from Palmer. And just seconds to go, all of a sudden, it's 14 7 before the half. 14 10 Bengals, third quarter. Palmer nailed. Ike Taylor makes the pick. Ryan Clark made the hit. And let's take a look at Henry amazingly eventually got to his feet and continued. Yeah, it's going to be interesting for the league office to take a look. Ryan Clark launches himself, but the hit is made with the shoulder and not the crown of the helmet. You know, we'll see what the league thinks about launching. But, you know, an outstanding hit on a good receiver who's giving you a hard time. Well, so with the turnover, fourth and goal, the gamble. Willie Parker takes it in. Stillers lead it 17-14. Just over eight minutes to go, and the Bengals punting the biggest play of the game. Ricardo Coakley, doink, what was it off his head? Doink, what was it off his hands? Doink, what was it off his knee? It doesn't matter. It's the Bengals ball, and you tell me what the coach is thinking. Let's take a look. Pittsburgh, the chin tells it all for Coach Cower. Very next play. Go for the jugular, Carson Palmer. T.J. Hushman, you say Hushman Zeta. I say Hushman Zeta. I say touchdown, 21-17 Cincy. Now, next possession, Veron Haynes, nailed, fumble, recovered by the Bengals. And again, I'm going to repeat it, Tom. The team's going someplace, make you pay for it immediately. Next play, Palmer to, you say Hushman Zeta. I say Hushman Zeta. I say a tremendous juggling catch for the touchdown. Yeah, and take another look at this. You know, TJ could be a, a one on any other team. You just look at the way he concentrates wow. on the football. That is a great grab. 28-17 lead, then Reed field goal makes it 28-20. Pittsburgh still has a chance under a minute to go. Roethlisberger buys some time out of the hands of Veron Haynes, but wait. Roughing the passer. Steelers get 15 yards. Two plays later. Pittsburgh not done. They're inside the 35. Roethlisberger, good coverage, but finds Haynes sliding. 16-yard pickup. Third and 10 at the 16. Roethlisberger picked off by Kevin Case behind in the end zone. Three picks, five turnovers at all Pittsburgh. And in the end, Cincinnati, Marvin Lewis, they're the 3-0 team. The defending champs going into a bye are now 1-2. They had won nine in a row. They've lost twice in one week. And the Bengals win it 28-20. And after the game, Sal Palantonio on Carson Palmer and the Bengals starting to feel, well, what if last year? This is this year. Carson Palmer waited eight long months for redemption. On Sunday, he got it in the flash of 10 seconds. 
Two touchdown passes to T.J. Hushmanzada finally put the Steelers away. He's been on this game ever since the schedule came out. And today just showed he was poised, you know, under pressure, came out and laid his team up and down the field. When times were hard, we depended on him. He made plays, put the ball in the end zone. I think it's, you know, a big burden lifting off him. You know, uh, you know it's a game he got hurt in. He came back. He, he's been playing really good so far. Uh, we're winning games and things like that, so I'm sure he feels really good about it. He showed a lot of toughness, man. You know, you know he's a tough guy. He just showed with the way he rehab, rehabbed and got back, you know, so soon. Uh, he played a, I can't say hell of a game, can I? Yeah. Okay, played a hell of a game today. For us to come out and play the way we did and, and get a division game and uh, to be 2-0 in our division this early in the year, uh, we're just happy to get a win. It wasn't about revenge, it was just about winning a division game. Why would Carson Palmer downplay the significance of this win? Because he's been doing it in his own locker room all week said veteran offensive lineman Willie Anderson. Last year, we made a game against Pittsburgh bigger than we could handle it. This year, we got rid of the hype, and it worked. In Pittsburgh, Sal Palantonio, ESPN. All right, Sal, thank you. Well, it certainly did work, and again, we, we talked about another highlights. For Cincinnati, what stands out to me is the way they go for the jugular. It's not only that the throws are great or the catches are great or et cetera, it's the mindset that's all a part of where they're going. Turnover, bang, touchdown, and Pittsburgh didn't know what hit them. Yeah, great use of the plethora of weapons that they have. And when you look at those wide receivers, it's not only Chad Johnson, it's TJ, and it's Chris Henry, it's uh, Rudy Johnson. So they feel like they have the guys where they can go up top and go right after you. And another reason they may have downplayed this win is that fifth time in a row in this series that the road team has won. They got to play one in Cincinnati at the end of the year. Pittsburgh was hoping to get to the bye at this point at 2-1. and one. Uh, Ben Roethlisberger obviously will be a better quarterback. Yes. For, heaven forbid he was 27-4, now he's lost 2-1 in one week. They maybe think they're a little better than they are, the 0-6 Steelers, but the bye comes at a good time, taking nothing away from Cincinnati. Pittsburgh ran a lot better in this game. The five turnovers, obviously not things, things aren't that tight, Tom. Don't want to make excuses for Ben Roethlisberger, mm -hmm. but a life-changing experience, a near-fatal accident, an emergency appendectomy, mm -hmm. give him a break, think about how long it might take for him up here to recover from that and be the same quarterback. It might not be this season, it might be some time this season, but give him a break and understand he might be going through what any of us would have gone through. And so Cincinnati now starts a murderer stretch in their schedule. But they've already accomplished this. They beat the Steelers on the road. New England is next for them. The Blitz continues shortly.